Today on Capitol Hill, House Democrats have been coming to the defense of an FBI director appointed by their top political adversary, former President Trump. California Congressman Eric Swalwell serves on the Judiciary Committee. He questioned uh, Director Ray a short time ago and joins me now. So, Congressman, I'm curious what you make of this hearing so far. I mean, uh, tons of politics, obviously, on both sides. But Ray has to defend the bureau in a season where budget cuts are potentially on the table for them. Walk me through what we've seen in the first uh, couple hours of this with, you know, Democrats sort of pointing out the desire to, you know, the conflict between investigating President Trump or not, Chairman Jordan and Republicans trying to pick the FBI apart. What stood out to you? Uh, just bananas. Absolute chaos in there where the FBI director who oversees 38,000 employees investigates terrorism, child exploitation, COVID fraud, national security, walks right into the partners meeting of Insurrection LLC, the largest law firm in D.C. now with just one client. Donald Trump. And so uh, the two main issues were why didn't the FBI let more people see the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop and why did the FBI raid Mar-a-Lago? Again, we've got cyber attacks coming at us. We have mass shootings all across America. And that was the focus today in the hearing. How concerned are you that some of what's happening here on the right, these efforts to undermine the FBI, appear to be working? Now, we played a soundbite in the open of this program about Matt Gates, for Matt Gates, you know, talking about how the trust in the FBI has never been lower. And there's polling that largely backs that up. It's actually a little bit better than it was in 2018. But the FBI does not have the same kind of broad-based support in the country that it used to. How do you reverse that? Is it important to reverse that from where you sit? It's this crazy loop that the Republicans have created, right? They attack, attack, attack the FBI, and that brings down the approval rating of the FBI, and then they use the low approval rating to justify the attacks uh, that they're making. Look, I, I'm a son of a cop. I have two brothers who are police officers. I worry every day about their safety, but I especially worry now about the safety of everyone in law enforcement. When you see these calls to defund the FBI, you have a former Trump aide who is posting addresses of uh, former FBI agents who's focusing on a Hunter Biden prosecutor as his number one objective and said that he's going to make sure that she answers for her crime. So I, I do worry that, you know, their safety is at risk uh, if we, you know, start politicizing uh, the work of non-political people. I mean, to the longer term element of this, you've got a bunch of people running for office on the Republican side of the aisle, running for president, saying they're going to come in and fire the FBI director uh, right out of the gate. I mean, this is a position that has a 10 year term designed to be insulated from politics. I guess my question has two parts. Uh, how do you reverse that if you think it's even possible? And what do you think of the job that Chris Ray, who, as has been pointed out repeatedly, was a Trump appointee, was uh, confirmed with every I think every Republican vote in the Senate? I think you might have been a voice vote confirmation. What do you think of the job he is doing at sort of depoliticizing his own position in this hearing? Yeah, the most important thing we have in America is freedom. And, and freedom means justice. It means law and order. And that's why the FBI director has to rise above politics. I think he's doing a terrific job. He's only been appointed to government positions by Republicans. And, and guess who appointed uh, John Durham? It, it was under the Trump administration. Guess right. who appointed the Hunter Biden prosecutor? It was Donald Trump. So it seems that the issue that the Republicans should have is that Donald Trump wasn't able to competently appoint people who wouldn't violate their oath. They, they seem to be upset that these Trump appointees won't violate their oath and instead are holding everyone to the same standard of law. Very interesting hearing so far. Congressman Eric Swalwell, I'll let you get back to it. Thank you for your My time. Pleasure. Thanks, Gary.